I like you for the same reason why I like everyone. Okay, though I don't like everyone the same as I like you. Or I gotta be truthful. Um, your spirit. I base every everything on spirit. You gotta go pee pee? Go pee pee on the puppy pad. Okay? Okay, good girl. Go up. That's the first thing I see. It, okay, that's a lie. That's usually the first thing I see. I can't lie. It's not. It's not always true. If you, if, if you know, when you're scrolling and you come across those videos where people are fighting, and I'm like, because <gasps> having my own experiences, that's just sometimes my first reaction. Or people that talk really loud in their videos, like we're in a huge stadium, and you need the back people up up in the back to hear you. And, and keep scrolling. I, I don't want to. I don't even want to try to absorb that energy. But you're wonderful. You always help me out. How, how could I not like you? How could I not? You're a great man. And sometimes. Having, having the ability to listen to both sides. Sometimes that is not rejection. It's protection. You know we see. A lot of older movies where the dad, uh, I don't know, I was watching Fences the other day and uh, Denzel was telling his son in the movie, I don't have to like you. I, I have to take care of you, but I don't have to like you. Well, who wants to hear that? See, now to me, now that I'm a little bit older, that that wasn't him being uh, vengeful or anything. That, that's his way of protecting his son from the outside world already being prejudiced. Yeah. You know, or the son or daughter that always gets beat up on, so to speak, by the parent. And then you grow up and you realize how much that parent loved you because they were do it this way don't do it that way you need to do this and not that and, and oh well, why is dad always mean to me because i'm the same as you I, I didn't have a father he showed up on sunday mornings i guess just to have a little quick fix with mom and leave again and that's all i knew so i had to come to the realization that he just didn't want any more kids i have a brother on the other side that I didn't know about till I was about 10. And I always remember sitting in the back of the courtroom and saying, I don't have, I don't have a daughter. I don't have a daughter. And then the judge looks at me and looks at him. He says, that's weird because she looks just like you. <gasps> yeah. Now he, then he's shocked because I was sitting in the courtroom so I had to learn how to re-channel all of that because it's not going to do me any good to say, oh, you never did. So, of course, as I grew, I figured I had to be smarter than him, right? So the spirit already told me when he was going to die and I would check in. I'm not dead yet. Stop calling me. Okay, talk to you next Sunday, Dad. Because, you know what? His relationship with God has got nothing to do with me. My relationship with God is all that matters. I forgive you for whatever you did that you thought was okay to do to a little child. I forgive me for thinking it should have happened any other way. And I know it sucks to hear that and say that out loud, but what am I going to do? I, I already grew up hating him. I can't live my whole, you know, umpteen years hating, 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 hating. That's, that's the same thing I say about my mother. My sisters don't have one good word to say about my mother to, still to today. And they 85, 87 years old. Still don't have one good thing to say about our mother at all. They just remember all the bad stuff. All that, all, all that hanging on to bad stuff gave them cancer. Shingles. Uh, the other one last year, just last uh, October, November. Wait, this is, yeah. Yeah, it was this time last year. You know, three heart surgery things. That's what I think 
would happen to me if I hung on to all that anger and animosity and why, 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 why. And just, I just had to learn to replace it for my own sanity with, you know, they did the best they could at the time. You know, it's easy to say times were different then, yet they truly were as far as men being men and women being women and separate roles. Today, everything is blurred, which I think is a good thing. <clears throat> Because, you know, my sister-in-law made way more money than my brother did in the work field, in any work field. So she went to work and he stayed home with the kids and the bills and the cleaning and blah, 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 blah. We all just got to figure out some way to live life happier. And that was my way. Mama did the best she could at the time. And yes, I have been mad at my mom. I called my mom out of her name once. Because she said something not nice to my 42-year-old sister who's kind of, you know. And I thought that was very inappropriate and I called her a bitch. I see why, no, I said, I said, I see why all your daughters call you a bitch. Because right now you're acting like one. You know, how dare you tell our sister something she didn't need to hear at 42 on her birthday. And that really got her fucked up. Anywho, just like you, I assume he did the best he could at the time. At the time. I don't know, maybe he wanted to save you from whatever was in their letters or whatever his real truth was that he didn't want to share. <clears throat> so then I choose to remember only the good things that everybody else had to say about him, excuse me. In San Bernardino County, he was the number one heavy equipment operator. Mama would tell me story after story after story about how he didn't know how to use that, the crane that goes way like 150 feet up in the air to help build tall buildings. <clears throat> so he would break into the place at nighttime and learn how to use it so he could go to work the next day and use it and then everybody admired him because he could stay up in that little thing all day long so he brought a thing to pee in he brought his lunch and you know just did it so I, I choose to remember those things because what good is it going to do why didn't he do this and why didn't he do that and why 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 that's never going to make our our own soul happy and I'm baby Aries I can make up lots of stories in my own self because and yeah, we <clears throat> now we talk more than ever. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but apparently he had something put in his mm -hmm, to drain some of the blood out of his brain or something. I don't know why they would put it in your mouth, but one day it was 125 degrees in San Bernardino, California. He reached over wall bed very close he reached over to try to um open or close the window he fell hit his head released the lever and bled out i figured that's enough torture so he's on the other side now and we have great talks you could you could too And I don't know. I think I don't remember a lot of things out of whatever reason. I don't care. And nobody needs to leave a comment about it. It's okay. I just replace it with all positive energy. Because what am I going to do? God damn it. He did it. He did it. That's not going to help me in life. That's not going to help me stay sane. That's not going to help me prosper. So it is what I make it. It's not it is what it is, people. It is what you make it. And I choose to make it all good. You know, he's, he's made his apologies in many shapes and, and forms. That's okay. I can let it go. Keep it pushing. I got a lot of good to do in the world. I can't be sitting here thinking, why, 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 why? So that's why I always figure first, maybe it was protection and not necessarily rejection, honey. Okay. Just food for thought. I'm not telling anybody what to think, do, or be. Just food for thought. Maybe it isn't what you think it it, it was, because it's in the past now. You can change your future. <laughs>